Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Horstmar, Chief Meteorologist at Fox 19. Thanks for coming to Education and Hockey Day. It's going to be a great, great day. Not only are you going to see a great hockey game, you're going to learn some stuff, too. We know that the Cyclones stopped 91 pucks out of 100 for the season. We know that 91 pucks plus X equals 100%. How do we figure out the X? Since we are adding X to 91, we can solve it by subtracting 91 from 100. When we figure out what the number is, that is the number of goals we are giving up. Defenseman makes two of five shots and the forward is able to make three of five. What is the likelihood of the scoring forward versus the defenseman? Would they be the same? Should the forward score more often? Getting it back. Headman passed the rounds with us some space and a shot. Save! Rebound! Scores! In hockey, we use elapsed time for telling when things happen. The clock starts at 20 minutes and counts down to zero like other sports. The difference is in the way we report it. Let's say the Cyclones get off to a fast start in the period and score with 1953 left on the clock. We do not list on the score sheet that they scored at 1953, instead we figure out how much time has gone by. When we subtract out the 1953 from the 20 minutes, we see that the goal took just 7 seconds to score. ...up to the blue line for the Cyclones, for Sheehan, Sheehan, shot, SCORES! Now that you understand about physical states, let's see how the ice is made at the US Bank Arena. First the floor underneath the ice is made of cement and is called an ice slab. Below the ice slab, there's a series of pipes that carries nearly freezing salt water through them to make the concrete cold. Once the slab is cold enough, layers of water are spread on the ice and begin to freeze. Once four or five layers are down, the lines, circles, and advertisements are painted on. After this, another eight to ten layers of water is spread down and we have our sheet of ice. I tell you what, there are so many different cyclones, not only the ones that take the ice right here at U.S. Bank, but there's also cyclones that affect our weather. One of those cyclones is called a low pressure system. Now, it's that big L that's on our weather maps, okay, folks? And basically, I call it lousy weather. It brings us wet weather, cyclones, low pressure systems, bring us cloudy weather, and also brings us some cooler air.